All right, uh, today is August the 25th, 2021. This video should have been done already. Uh, probably it's going to be interesting for some people, definitely for people involved in this. MKUltra, and that's a whole international crew of people. You know, on that MKUltra, I had a problem. I had a problem with Americans demanding for me to recognize there were two hermits involved in this case. One hermit was a River Dave. That's this guy here. This guy was involved in my MK Ultra case since '95. I browsed the river bank with this guy, uh, Banks, uh, with some other people, on what he decided to establish himself at a particular spot where he got the permit to, to stay. This is real stuff. demonstrated me over the course of time how he built his um, shelter wherever you want to say this guy is a really nice guy he told me everything about his family too about his father that he got idea about this stuff from his father his father was the one who teached him about well maybe life on a country, something like that. That's what he said. Then we were in local towns, not town only. Um, and we visit this man over the course of the years, whenever we would pass through, they would always stop. And this was a really nice guy. This guy got in trouble because there was some people, minorities involved in this that were extremely violent, they displayed and they did kill people too that were involved in MKUltra. Uh, it started to get really violent and somehow this poor guy got on their list because of his blue eyes, because of his look, white, uh, something that there were two hitmen doing that job but that's going to be some other time um, eventually was stopped by the people from Hollywood because they knew about him and they expressed concern about this poor guy and so the police prevented what otherwise could even be uh, a fatality Just a really nice guy, a uh, very calm guy, pleasant guy, and completely, completely in contrast, I should say opposite. I did not have problem with recognizing this guy involved in MK Ultra, but I had a huge problem with this individual here. This is a Serbian president, Aleksandar Vucic, who was involved in this case since '95. Uh, Serbia is the country that declared war against a uh, few other states, five other states at the same time. This is uh, just a little what took place in Slovenia, country I'm native citizen, these are the Serbian tanks. There are the with the tanks on our streets, but this is nothing compared to Croatia, but still this is in Slovenia. We didn't really want to have anything to do with this because uh, this is just their way of doing things.
Then he had the planes dropping bombs, and then uh, me leaving to the U.S. This was in '91. Me leaving in the U.S. four years later, I found myself uh, on a plane back, but not even into Slovenia, but right here to Serbia. Serbia, which uh, burned to the ground. Croatia, Bosnia, and two other countries separated as well from this federation because they couldn't take it because it was nothing other than, well, exactly what you have seen, killing of people, ethnic cleansing for the sake of big Serbia. This is what Yugoslavia was, you know. As so this guy... As Donald Trump started the Hunger Games in Poland, um, they already had something going on with the Hunger Games. I heard they they already had Hunger Games for like maybe even year two earlier, unofficially though. But these people demanded Americans demanded from me from every country to pick a team of people that will represent me and this will be the people who will go in this Polish Hunger Game. It involved China. I did identify a few people. I will demonstrate sometime. Um, but of course all the European countries including Serbia and Russia, Belarus, and it just happened so that I didn't want to have any, absolutely anything to do, not with Russia, not with Belarus, and not with Serbia, strictly. Especially not with the Serbia. On what this guy, along with this convicted killers, serial assassins, convicted killers at Hog Court for the human rights, talking about uh, Karadzic here, talking about Milosevic here. Um, it was right in Belgrade that it was this crew that I had to select people and I selected some people and I refused to select other people, but I had no choice because I wasn't the one selecting them. It was this guy and it was people that I mentioned selected them. The only thing I got was beatings. And because I disagreed with it, and because I didn't want to even participate in it, it was more and more beatings, and the video recording, which was then released through Donald Trump channel channels, because this is how they convinced everybody that everything is going fair play, that this is what it is. That's how Donald Trump does the things, and this is how these guys do it. They repeated over the course of the time, as long as I did not stand right there like a plant. The same thing they have done in front of the memorials here in Slovenia, in front of the partisan memorials, where they claim that I am a Nazi, that I hate partisans, uh, that I hate uh, World War II resistance, Slovenian and stuff like that. The same thing again repeated, and the same people did repeated again in Serbia and Belgrade. This was a Russian Moscovian system. Uh, they would video record and then they would send this uh, and uh, reality TV, reality showman Donald Trump had this material that would distribute to selected elites. Well, the idea was a global domination. And so, for that to happen, they had to involve country that had nuclear weapons. That, that's Russia. Russia, too. And so, the individual from Serbia was this guy here. This is the guy who went to Poland on a Hunger Games. Uh, this guy originally is from Belgrade. Now let me see something. He is from near Belgrade. 
he's not exactly Belgrade. I don't know, maybe what it, what is it? Let me see this here. Um, this is a city Belgrade. Am I going to know? Not exactly. Let me see. Panchevo, maybe Panchevo, maybe something like that, okay? I'm not sure. And so he went to this Polish Hunger Games, and just like the police officers, actually security officers I have identified here in Novo Mesto, in city of my own that would go to this Hunger Games to Poland, uh, this individual, this American River Dave, would be used actually to point out for me about the Serbian guy and I would go and recognize the Serbian guy as a participant uh, of Hunger Games in Poland designed by Donald Trump. Um, so this is about like wow you know wow hurrah you know hurrah it's like huh, done in a style of games you know like involving public and wow he pointed this he pointed not really so this individual was a chetnik he was a chetnik before he went to Poland this is a chetnik this is what chetniks are a chetnik this individual I have no idea. He worked abroad. He might have even killed somebody over there in Bosnia. Who the fuck knows? Before he went to Poland. Who knows? This individual was everything but River Dave. This individual sometimes I precisely don't know what year was when he returned back from Poland um, but I got a feeling this was like early early on like I don't know 98 maybe something like that found himself in a period south of Serbia near Bulgarian border maybe 99 I don't know what year it was but it I feel like it was really early 98 probably because he spent his savings to build bridges in Pirot the idea was to excite Pirot people um, into his a presence in Pirot. He was very, very pro Serbian. So all his savings, which you can imagine, um, huge, huge, huge savings, he invested in building a bridge. I hope I'm going to be demonstrated to you. Um, I think two bridges that he paid. And it was this like official uh, three small bridges. He's a founder. He paid for construction, you know, for the three small bridges in town. But these are the bridges that barely even look like a bridges, you know. And so here is this Nikola Tesla, you know, a Serbian cave hermit um, who try to look even like David Crockett you know they told him to look like this I'm gonna give you that this is why this video this is why I'm trying to uh, he became a sensation a literally guided lunatic by this individuals here that you see here that's Alexander uh, Vucic literally you no know, literally what I'm telling you that's exactly what it is uh, the bridges are not demonstrated here because these are actually not bridges this is just a um, 
barely something that you can go through the river in that sense um, but it was a huge show in 98 when they started to build this first bridge and it was a completed and I was brought there on opening of his bridge you know uh, and at the same time yelled at me uh, how come you don't like Serbia and this and that and it was just well you gotta see these bridges I mean you gotta see I am trying to I am trying to demonstrate to you the um, his um, his bridges but I'm afraid we're not gonna see these bridges but oh yeah here is the here is the big bridge the founder with all his savings he he built a bridge this is the bridge this is an example of what you call bridge okay so the man worked really really hard to put the bridge uh, and uh, you know this is just um, you know this is just a big thing I guess this is what it is and next to this River Dave 81 Hermit here in the US we can, you can see what this guy really did this stuff by himself he really did build this house this child of this to stay here um, Alexander Vucic tried to make a big sensation out of this guy uh, by not only helping him out to oh this is another thing this is about this is about completely other stuff this is this is about the re the reality this is this is the real real stuff about if somebody wants to see it the people who met him were not really excited uh, it looked very different than from what Serbian media Vucic media try to depict him um, to me personally what angered me the most about this guy that you're not going to think I have something against the hermits or something like that is a simple factor that you see how he's got everything in order this plates and everything um, would you like to let's say um, Slovi in Slovenia we make about probably four or five times more money than what they do in Serbia we always did like this uh, we pride ourselves with work not with a protests every month um, not with just closing factories down and go out there on a square and just chant bullshit basically eh? uh, get paid for free this is what Yugoslavia was like that they would just take days off and just go out there and protest sit and the money would come from the fund from the common fund where all the states would pay money proportionally to number of people for that matter one state the biggest one the Serbia was on a strike uh, protests doing nothing baking Chivapchichi uh, enjoying itself in other countries Croatia Bosnia Slovenia Macedonia Sir, uh, Montenegro wh whichever way whatever it would be they were just uh, paying, paying for it so they could sit at home basically do nothing um, in proportionally it was road infrastructures that grew in Serbia nowhere else the weaponry everything was given to them they were just taking themselves really taking care 
and others were there to work. Uh, consequently, the country have uh, fallen into what they refer to as nationalist crisis. They were not really nationalistic crisis. There was just one cancer in this Yugoslav state, and that was a Serbian nationalism. There was no other nationalism. That was a nationalism that left millions of people without roofs in Kosovo, in Bosnia, in Croatia, in Serbia, in Slovenia, Macedonia escaped a uh, disaster, uh, and then Montenegro also decided that this is this is not for Montenegro either. So everybody ran away from this beautiful uh, country that deemed that well that it's only country I guess for one nation that we are all to serve one other nation the problem with this stuff was that Vucic who would come here and they would orchestrate here to me stuff from how they're going to kill me inside of the house uh, involving local police Serbs even into this stuff now, this is also the stuff I have to still do. To something that he insisted me that I live dirty, that the Serbian hermit uh, in Serbia, the caveman, where he would keep bringing me back over the course of the times, and no, fuck. You would not want to go from Slovenia there. Slovenia became a meanwhile European Union member state, one of the first more developed than any other Eastern European country. Um, Czech Republic is the second one the most developed and Slovenia is probably two or three times more developed than Czech Republic when we entered the European Union. You would not want to go back to... You would not want to even think about going to Serbia that was like upon separation uh, unemployment exploded and the pay was like so miserably low that people would come from Serbia and work here in Slovenia almost for free anywhere because anything was better than what Serbia had to offer them this is how bankrupt they went you would not want to go there and even less well also you would not want to go there as a US citizen I'm sure and even less you would want to become a fucking caveman in Serbia probably you would not want to become something like this and so since I was so unimpressed with the craziness of this state of this country because they would drag me to the front lines where they would be shooting each other with uh, exchanging fire with the Croats, with the Bosnians um, <laughs> subjected me all the time to like, I'm gonna fucking kill you, kill you, point the gun at you that kind of stuff beatings, threats, death threats this is what the visits were to Bosnia and to the Serbia um, you would not probably want to go and end up in some fucking cave in Pirot for the rest of your life uh, I, I, I hated it from the bottom of my heart for what you Donald Trump for what you American administration have done to me you, the US government you dare to do something like this to American citizen and citizen from abroad that is unheard of man that's fucking unheard of that you go and you do stuff like this to the person you're not even a fucking banana country the United States of America banana country is something but you what the fuck are you really
the Serbian president Alexander Vucic came with the idea that I live dirty because I rejected the way of life in Serbia because I would not want to go and integrate myself in a beautiful society and promised me compared me with a Serbian hermit how he has everything sorted out in his cave and promised me that I'm actually going to live worse than the Serbian hermit. You understand? You hear me this shit now? A Serbian, Alexander Vucic, promised me that I will live worse in Slovenia. And that was in 2008, 2006, 2008. Than what the Serbian hermit does in the cave in Serbia. That's why I don't have no business to recognize the people, the, Serbia, the Serbs that came to meet me. I'm going to take care of that. It was good people that I met. It's still good people too, but I'll be the ultimate judge about, uh, especially I'm saying this to American crew, because American crew insisted how you have to go and you have to recognize this Serbian hermit, or if not, not, and this and that. Um, who, what, and how, that will be just up to me. I just wanted to clarify that, that's because I said the other day, don't send, don't go anymore, I don't want to see any, any uh, Serbs coming my way anymore about this stuff, because on the first place, I didn't want to have nothing to do, not with the Serbia, not with the Russia. Remember, not with the Belarus. I was taken there for a beatings, strictly for abuse, for death threats. There was no friendly exchange of any kind. It was nothing else than a torture. Pure physical torture is why I was taken there for. And I want you to keep this on your mind. Whenever you consider this case, that's all there is pertaining to Serbia, Belarus, and Russia. And that's all. Uh, so, yeah, even that maybe I definitely do live worse, lived worse than a Serbian hermit, I definitely not lost mine to the degree he did. According to many, this is a fucking madman that showers once per year and uh, that too Mr. David Crockett came up with the idea that well he doesn't like to clean himself for one thing this is nasty this is just plain and nasty but yeah this is what Vucic got an idea that he's gonna he use him so that he's gonna be more like so that he could relate more to the West, so that Americans would, you know, Billy Hillis would see themselves in, in, in him more and stuff like that. A fucking madness. But the reality of what Vucic did, well, I didn't like that first opening of the bridge in 98. I really didn't like it because it was this guy was violent. He was violent, but he have completely forgotten about it. He was in, in 98 and 99. This guy was so violent. He got the neighbors violent and then these neighbors, his neighbors, the Serbs became completely insane, completely insane. Whenever I would go there, it was just the death threats and so on. Uh, that's all there was. But once they learned that this case is going to come to life regardless, like, I don't know, what was it, 2015 or whatever, they completely changed the attitude because they knew it's going to come to life. So then they again tried to become normal and this and that. Look, um, this is just uh, this guy. I'm not angry with him. I'm really not angry with him. I feel sorry for him. Because he's a creation of this guy. This is a real fucking madman. This is a real lunatic. This is basically in, in in This is basically Karadzic. This is basically this psychiatrist here. This was a Serbian psychiatrist who handled my case. 
This is the man who coordinated here in Slovenia with the Slovenian psychiatrists how they're going to break me down. And this guy was trialed in Hague for the war crimes. So I can be angry at a little hermit in Serbia. I can't be because he was guided by this shit here. He's just a he was just a tool for something like this for a complete madness. So but I want you to know that I don't appreciate I never agreed I never agreed to anything to have anything to do with the Serbs or with the Russians who came on the territory of Yugoslavia to assist Serbs in an ethnic cleansing against the Croats, against the Bosnian people. And they tried to destroy Montenegro too. They tried to create a revolution in Montenegro. And they put their hands also in Macedonia and so on. I don't appreciate. I consider that as an enemy nation. Even more so because of what I have gone through. And I'm not on my knees to beg anybody for any kind of forgiveness. I'm not on my knees to beg anybody for any kind of recognition like the case should be here with this stuff here. No, this is not what I'm here. I'm not here for this. I'm here to enforce the international laws and treaties pertaining to the rights of European Union citizens my being Slovenian citizen and to the US Constitution. That's what I'm here. And that stuff is not being enforced with humbleness, with confusion, or even perhaps uh, getting myself in more and more deeper and deeper waters with the mafia, with the gangsters, whom I met here, by the way, in Serbia, whenever I was brought here, uh, so that Donald Trump could sleep good, so American administration would be a peace of mind for what they did. That's not what I am here for. I'm not here to make your life easy. I'm here to enforce the law. The laws, the treaties, my rights as a human being to be alive, basically. That's all.